Well, good morning, folks. Uh, how y'all doing today? Well, uh, y'all be happy to know uh, I'm, I made it to the States. Uh, I talked to you about an old colleague that uh, had a uh, family farm that I think he said his cousin was in charge of and uh, was in uh, rough shape. Well, I, I finally made it out to the town and uh, just uh, got here basically. Uh, oh, don't worry about my money up there. That's uh, just what I got on me. Uh, everything else is tied up in banks and transfers and all that good stuff. Um, uh, unfortunately, I did have to buy me a new truck. Uh, since I'm here in the States, uh, yeah, having a little trouble with shipping on mine. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Um, got a little more detail. They're in a bit of debt and, uh, uh, it seems his cousin is taking up a factory job and uh, trying to keep the family farm, but uh, yeah, it still had gone good for him. So uh, hey, they gave me the address and everything, and uh, it's uh, actually just down the road here. So uh, we'll fix the drive out there and uh, have a look at it and see if there's anything I can do uh, I don't know I guess it just depends on uh, how bad a shape they're in but uh, let's head over there I don't know this ain't a bad truck but it's uh just not quite like my old one. But, uh, at least she's yellow. Okay, let's uh, get out here and uh, see what we can do. I said it's not too far down here. Uh, this seems to be a nice small little town here. Okay. I, I think that's the uh, farm right there. Yep, that's the place. Jeez, people don't know how to drive here either. Okay, combine right in the middle of the driveway. Well, I don't want to drive on the, the yard. Yeah. Just in case it's not the right place. Uh, walk up and knock on the door. See if uh, this is the place or not. All right, folks, I'll be right back with y'all just in case uh, this ain't the right place. Oh, well, folks, uh, this is the right place. Uh, the lady in the house uh, made a few phone calls and uh, figured out uh, I'm the person that are uh, uh, losing my words, folks. 
Strange bunch, strange bunch. Uh, not nothing like my colleague. But anyway, she called my colleague and uh, he verified that I'm who I said I was and that he sent me. <laughs> and she said, uh, go ahead and pull around and uh, take a look. She'd kind of like to keep this place too, apparently. Uh, so we're just going to come on down here. Go ahead and shut the truck off and uh, we'll uh, walk around. Now, uh, she said I had to get the exact details, uh, from, uh, her husband, but, uh, she said they were substantially in debt, uh, with the bank. So far, nothing looks too unreasonable. Um, this feels good, just needs to be harvested. Uh, but on all, the crop looks decent. Could be better. Look like they're getting ready to uh, plant this one. Uh, hello, miss. Okay. I uh, got some pretty decent equipment. She said, I peeled across the creek. Well, that's a creek. Alright. Oh my goodness. Potatoes. Full of weeds. Um. Wow, okay. Uh, so they got one bad field. Uh. Now it look like their neighbor's field is just as bad as shape. <laughs> Maybe something just being on this side of the creek. But their uh, potato field looks just as bad as their neighbor's field. Oh, dear. Well, ain't that cute? That one got a little spooked there. I figured the others would follow suit. That right, must not disturb them. Okay, uh, well, I guess, uh, I think they just need an extra hand, uh, depending on how bad they're in debt. Uh, she made, she's. She didn't make it sound too bad, so, uh, 
Maybe just a little more than what uh, they could handle alone. Uh, yeah, let me get a little more details. And, uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, maybe, uh, just get a good year and, uh, they'll be back on their way and I can be on my way. But, uh, yeah, if that's all they're needing, uh, since he, uh, started work at the factory, then, uh, yeah, this will be, uh, pretty easy and cut and dry. But, uh, maybe, uh, at least I'll get to share a little bit of farming with you guys. So, uh, yeah. Let me go, uh, check in with her again, see if she gathered up the, uh, information about what we need to know. And, uh, we'll be on our way. I guess we'll harvest this field up first, and... All right. Uh, give me a few minutes, uh, she don't like the camera. Well, okay, folks, um... They're in debt, uh, a small amount for a farm, and, uh, not just the potato fields theirs, but the other two fields, too. She meant, you know, everything across the, uh, creek there. Uh, so, uh, yeah. And, uh, so, uh, well, we got, we got a little bit of work to, uh, kind of get done. Uh, I asked her about, uh, potatoes equipment. Uh, how, we, you know, what was their plans there? And uh, she said they have no plans for the potatoes. Uh, they just planted them because... Somebody told them it would be a great crop. So they hired a guy to come in and plant them. And they have no means to harvest them. Oh, another deer. Um, from what I've seen, they have no means to uh, do much of anything besides harvest grain and plant grain oh man man oh man so, uh, yeah well let's go ahead and uh, harvest this uh, wheat here and uh, figure out what we're going to do Uh, he's, uh, working, uh, 12 hour shifts, so as far as the farm, it's gonna be, uh, up to me. So, uh, yeah, let me get in here and get this harvested. They get this harvester. I didn't think you could buy these things in the States. job so far.
thing that gets me is they don't know anything about potatoes. Why did they have somebody come in and plant potatoes? Like, they obviously don't have any equipment for it. They have no idea what their plans were. Or what they were thinking. Back on our old farm, I mean. We got five with some potatoes. Five a year and whatnot to tend to them, but as y'all may remember that wasn't no easy task. We had a little bit of money. And I'm going to have to call my old colleague. And make, and make sure he knows the situation here. That might not be anything I can do to help. It's just not going to be cheap getting them back into the black. I'm just hoping there's no other surprises. Get this wheat harvested. Just one more pass, and we'll have it done.
just go over here and dump this straight to their silo bin. There we go, that'll do for now. <sighs> now, what are we going to do about this straw? Really not sure. Get in here and get this field turned. That just ain't acting right. Yeah, no. This field needs to be plowed. Uh. Let's check the barn. Nothing, nothing in here. Uh, up behind the house. cultivator. No plow. These fields need to plow. Nothing for me to do with this straw. Needs to plow too. Oh man.
weeds everywhere. In the potato field. She's had all three three fields of hers too. Out. And they're ready to go. Fertilize full of weeds. In circle. About half covered with weeds. Man, this saint. Ain't as bad as it could be. We can do something. Uh, maybe if we sold the wheat and the oats. Well, make enough to uh, get us a plow. Uh, I have to put some more money into this. Which is not exactly what I signed up for. But, you know, my Tomo Call League got do my best to try and help out. So I should at least try. I'll do what I can. But I am definitely going to call him here shortly. I tell you what, folks, won't y'all go get something to eat and whatnot? And I'll work on this and uh, I'll talk to y'all when it's uh, done. So we'll see you shortly. Well, all right, folks, uh, we got those uh, oats harvested and. Uh, Gonna got them loaded up here in this trailer. I'm gonna take this massy and we'll run them up to the uh, grain mill. Hopefully we can get a dime or two out of this. Uh, maybe we can get us a decent plow. map ride or this may uh, turn into a road trip that'd be quite the adventure <laughs> but yeah I think we'll go right up here and make this right and then we'll take a left that up to the uh, next main junction and take another right I think and it should be on the left Oh, 
Uh, I'm either on the right path or uh, we just uh, decided to take a road trip in a tractor. Either one could be interesting. Oh. Wasn't too noisy for a covered bridge. I'll see our beacon up that way, so I'm assuming we're heading in the right direction. Oh, I did get a phone call from uh, my colleague. A former colleague and uh, he had some uh, interesting news uh, he said he, he was worried about the uh, state of the uh, old farm old farm place and uh Being that theoretically it's supposed to be a uh, split between his father's uncles and aunts, uh, whoops, I think we're supposed to turn back there. Okay. Let's just swing it here. Oh, yep, there's a the spot right there. got to talking. Forgot where I was going. Uh, he had a little wiggle room to get into the uh, financial status of the farm. And uh, he said everything as far as the, as far as the uh, legal status and financial, the uh, finances uh, ain't too terrible. books uh, they just sold the bank you know a little bit over a hundred thousand dollars he said after he found that out he did some more digging and whatnot told me to keep an eye on his cousin because uh, him and uh, his wife evidently took out some uh, personal loans let's say uh with the uh, farm as uh, collateral. And apparently uh, some of the people they took loans from were not exactly on the up and up. I like the sound going through that covered bridge. Um, but anyway. There's a couple of liens against the farm. Yeah, 
apparently um, Cousins became a little uh, shifty over the years and a little lazy at the same time. So, uh, you want me to keep an eye on him and uh, make sure that uh, everything concerning the farm is uh, above board. And I told him that, uh, yeah, that's. Uh, not exactly what I agreed to. I agreed just to do what I can to uh, soften the blow on the family uh, and uh, help try to keep the farm. Not babysit his cousin. He said he knows, he knows, and that's all uh, he wants me to do. He just He, basically, he's telling he was telling me to uh, just cover myself and uh, as far as keeping an eye on his cousin to make sure that uh, he didn't drag me into some of his shifty business. So, now things uh, get interesting as uh, we kind of wait and see how things play out. Well, folks, uh, up here at the uh, shop again uh, just uh, checking on uh, buying a plow um, they're a little pricey but uh, I checked on uh, leasing one that's why we can just get things done uh, well problem is this is the wrong time of year to be trying to lease the plow uh, he said he had one for me first thing uh, next month, so that'll just have to do. But uh, yeah, it's already five o'clock, and there's not much more that we can uh, rightfully do. So. Uh, And uh, now I'm a little concerned about this whole situation, to be honest. Um, a little more concerned about my uh, colleague. Uh, I know he don't want to lose the farm, but, expecting, but he's expecting to lose it, so... Uh, I guess I'm just gonna go into town and uh, find me a place to stay for the night. So uh, maybe uh, tomorrow things will be uh, a little clearer. Uh, I hope you folks uh, check back in with me and uh, maybe we can all figure this out a little bit. But, uh, till then, y'all be good to each other. <laughs>